Hi there. In this video, you will see how to use the warehouse picking process through the capabilities of financials for Office 365. Here we can pick items to be shipped, transferred, or consumed in production according to the find warehouse activity flow. When setting up your warehouse, you can make a number of different choices regarding how you want to operate and the level of detail and complexity you want to work with. The choices you make affect how you perform operations in a program. One of these choices is how you want to pick items in your warehouse location. The warehouse activity of picking items before they are to be shipped or consumed in different ways, depending on how warehouse management features are configured. An outbound source document can be a sales order, a purchase order return, an outbound transfer order, or a production order whose components should be picked. The setup complexity can rank from no warehouse features through basic warehousing for order by order handling in one or more activities only, to advanced configurations where all warehouse activities must be performed in a directed workflow. If you decide that you want to organize and record put away information with documents in the program, you place a check mark in the required pick field on the location card. Watch the introduction to location card video from the link in the description to find out more. When your location is set up to require pick processing, in this way, but is not set up to require shipment processing, you can create an inventory pick document for each outbound source document. If you have set up your location to require both pick and shipment processing, so that you have placed check marks in both require pick and require shipment fields on the location card, you can use the warehouse pick document. You also have the pick worksheets available to use for organizing your pick information before creating warehouse pick instructions. The warehouse pick functions similarly to an inventory pick, except that instead of posting the pick information, you register the pick. This registering process does not post the shipment, but makes the items available for shipment. And this is because you can have multiple source documents linked to a warehouse shipment, thereby linked to a warehouse pick. Let's hop into a warehouse pick to see this process functionality. In the warehouse pick window, you can manage the picks for a specific warehouse receipt document covering multiple source documents, as we've mentioned. As you can see, this is very familiar to the warehouse shipment. You can utilize bin and zone tracking here within these fields. If you are unfamiliar with the bin and zone map within financials, watch the how to set up bins and zones in a location video from the link in the description. Let's register the pick. There we are. To have a further dive into the inventory picks and the warehouse picks, please refer to our Financials for Office 365 Lunch and Learn on Warehouse Management. This can be found in the description. And there is the registered pick that we have processed.